Before we begin, can you quickly tell me in five seconds what will be the LCM least or lowest common multiple of these numbers? I know 95% of the students were not able to solve this, and therefore today, I will show simple and effective tricks for finding the LCM super quick. But remember, you have to practice it a bit in order to master this trick. Those who don't know what LCM means, I have explained it at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Trick 1. Suppose we have the numbers 4, 8, 16, and 32 and we want to find their LCM. Whenever we are given a set of numbers where the largest number can be divided by all the smaller numbers, then the LCM is simply that largest number. In this case, 32 is the biggest number. We know that 32 is divisible by 4, 8, and 16, and therefore the LCM of these numbers is 32. That was likely fast, isn't it? Trick 2. Now we will take numbers 5, 15, 20, and 30 and find its LCM. Unlike the previous trick, the largest number, 30, can be divided by 5 and 15, but it cannot be divided by 20. Now, when the bigger number can be divided by the smaller numbers, first of all, simply cancel those smaller numbers. So 5 and 15 are canceled. We are left with 20 and 30. Now we will change the bigger number such that it is divisible by 20. So I will multiply 30 with 2 and make it 60, which is now divisible by 20. So cancel it as well, and therefore the LCM of these numbers is 60. That was too quick. Let us move on to trick number 3. Now let us take numbers 9, 18, and 13. Bigger number is 18 here, which is divisible by 9, and therefore, you now know that we will cancel this 9. Look here. 13 is a prime number. Prime numbers are those numbers that have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. So wherever we get a prime number for LCM, first cancel as many numbers as possible, and then, without thinking anything else, just multiply it with the number left, because that will be the LCM. So here, we will do 18 times 13, which will be 234, and that's it. We are on fire. Finally, let us do one tough example, which will be a mix of all the tricks we have learnt till now. Suppose we have numbers 6, 12, 17, and 18. What will be its LCM? The biggest number is 18. It is not divisible by 17 and 12, but it is divisible by 6, so we will cancel this 6. Now consider this 12 and 18. If I multiply 18 with 2, we get 36, right? And this 36 is divisible by 12. So cancel this 12, and we are left with 36 and 17. Now 17 is a prime number, and therefore just multiply it with 36. Let us multiply it real quick. Write 17 as 20 minus 3. So it will be 36 times 20 minus 36 times 3 or 720 minus 108 or 612, and that's it. This is our LCM. Isn't this trick super cool? Now, for those who don't know what LCM is, remember its full form is least or lowest, common multiple which will make us understand it better. Suppose we have three numbers, 3, 4, and 6. First write the table of 3 like this, 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. Then write a table of 4 like this, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Finally, write a table of 6 like this, 6, 12, 18, and so on. Now. Let's find the numbers that are common in all three tables. Looking at them, we see that 12 appears in all three of them, right? Similarly, numbers like 24, 36, and so on are also common in all three tables. So these numbers are called common multiples of 3, 4, and 6. Now, what is the full form of LCM? It's least or lowest common multiple. 
which means we have to find the smallest common multiple of all these numbers. Since 12 is the smallest number among all the other common multiples, and therefore LCM of 3, 4, and 6 is 12. But you see, it's so much of hard work to make tables every time we need to find LCM, and therefore the tricks in this video are super helpful. Now can you tell in 5 seconds what will be the LCM of these numbers? Also, if this video gets 20,000 likes, then I will make another video where I will show you tricks to find HCF of numbers within seconds. So good!